right, everybody. Sorry for disappearing on the internet. I'll cut right to the chase. So, new Hapara exploit. The old ones are, um, don't work because of a new, like, Chrome update, which basically patches them all out. However, um, this new one, it actually still works. And it's un literally unpatchable. They, like, it's literally unpatchable. Like, yeah, I I'm not going to explain it, but it's quite literally unpatchable. Anyhow, so, first thing you want to do is... Um, what you want to do is grab all of this text here. Actually, no. First thing you want to do is go to this website. Um, I have the link in the description. And once you're here, copy all of this teeny text. And don't worry about how it's so teeny. When you paste it, it'll be full screen. Now, and now what you want to do is, on your school account, mind you, like, you need to do this on your school account, go on to here go to this website this link right here and it's um i'll again put the link in the description so you want to go here and then you'll see this now Alright, so, actually, forget what I said about this, like, this text. This is just the website. So, now that, we're, that you're here, you want to follow these steps. Now, I'll walk you through them. First, open Chrome s s Chrome Extensions, or you can just click, click up on this little puzzle piece. Click Manage Extensions, and here you are. Next, what you want to do is, it says, um, it says, in the settings, go into the settings page of what you want to disable. Now, the settings page basically means details. So, let's say you want to disable Go Guardian or Securely. Just click on the details for whichever one you want to disable. For an example, I'll use Apara. So, once you're here, what you want to do is, is um, on this page, click um, the freeze button. So... Now, click the corresponding button for whatever you want to disable. So, let's say you want to disable Hapara. In my in my instance, click this. All right? It's been clicked. And now, go back onto the, this page and spam allow access to fire, file URLs. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention was that basically it will freeze your computer for a teeny bit. So, and when you're on your personal computer, it's, it's weird. Anyhow, so here we are. And then it says... You want to spam allow access to file URLs. Go back into the settings or details of where you are, whatever you're trying to do, and then there's the button. So just spam it. Spam for like a few seconds, you know. There. Okay. And it doesn't matter which one it ends up, it lands on, but I'm pretty sure it should be um, off. All right. And then, and then this extension is now temporarily disabled. Now, unfortunately, this, as you can see up here, you know, it's clearly disabled. But the annoying part is that it will now, it will disable it, but it will only disable it for around 10 minutes on the average computer. But if you have, like, really new computers, then it might only work for a few minutes. Now, this is very annoying, I know, very tedious, but basically once it comes back, you want to come back here and repeat the process. But this time, once it comes back, you now you only need to click Free Sapara and then spam it some more. So it's actually a pretty quick process. So let's say it comes back, you boom, click it, spam spam this a ton, and then boom, you're good for another 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, that that's it. Um, so yeah, that's the exploit. Um, I'm very sorry for not uploading. I'm going to start uploading again some more soon. Um, the moment once we find a way to do this exploit, but it's like not annoying and you need to do it every few minutes, um, we'll show that, I'll show that to you immediately. Um, yeah, the links are all in the description. Um, and, uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye!